In this country, if you are poor, you will remain poor for the rest of your life. And there is nothing you can do about this. No matter how hard you work, no matter how smart you are. There's no hope in South Africa. People are gonna suffer for a long time. If you don't have the right connections, there's no jobs. So, no, there's no hope. <sighs> yes. This is how most people see South Africa. A country with a huge gap between the wealthy and the struggling. A country where the lives of the rich are more important than those of the poor. A country with massive racial tensions. Hundreds of people here standing outside, but there's no food left in here. But today, I want to bring an important awareness to this. There is so much more to South Africa than the inequality that defines it. For starters, this Hopeless nation is actually the place that brought hope for heart patients because the first successful human heart transplant happened here. It was performed by a South African doctor. Now, this procedure has been saving millions of lives all around the world. And not many people know this, but South Africa is the first and only country to voluntarily destroy its nuclear weapons after the Cold War. All for the sake of peace. No wonder the country also produced four Nobel Peace Prize winners with Nelson Mandela and Desmond Tutu who actually lived on the same street. Small world, huh? But as we talk about peace, greedy countries should be careful in bullying the peace-loving South Africa because the nation has one of the strongest military forces in the African region. They have high-end warships and even submarines. Next, let's talk about love, because South Africa is not called the Rainbow Nation for nothing. It is a loving home for different religions and even sexual orientations. In fact, it's the first African country and the fifth country in the world to recognize same-sex marriage. And this is a big thing, considering that homosexuality is illegal in 36 out of 54 African states. For a country that is a victim of many stereotypes, South Africa has a strong history of breaking stereotypes. Because many people see it as a poor nation, but it's actually the second largest citrus fruit exporter on earth. And it also houses one of the most luxurious trains in the world. Not only that, the country also produced talented citizens that challenge boundaries and break world records. Just look at this oldest man who swam across the English Channel. And this first woman who served as a first lady in more than one country. It's important to mention that as I bring you these incredible South African achievements, I'm noticing there are many more out there. And yet somehow people are much less interested in them. The media would always show the crippling hunger, poverty, crimes and inequality, the racial division of South Africa, the farm murders, all the horrible stuff that indeed is happening. But if we only focus on that, it prevents us from seeing things that actually make it incredibly beautiful. South Africa might actually be one of the most underrated countries in the world. And as its government, and especially its people, work to turn into the best versions of themselves, I hope that all of us will be able to look at South Africa and deliberately choose to also see the amazing positives. Only then can we create the world that sees the beauty of every nation.